Assalamu alaikum everyone. Now I am showing to showing to make a Bengali iftar, traditional Bengali iftar. So <coughs> I have taken some ingredients. This is called potato chop, that is alu chop, and here is vegetable pakora, and this is the beguni, and here is the chana or boot, and this is called burinda. After taking these ingredients, we have to <coughs> crust and uh, break them so that we can easily mix together. So I am breaking the potato chop. After that, I am breaking the vegetable chop or vegetable pakora. It is mainly made of dhone pata that is vegetables made. After that, <coughs> I have to break the beguni that is made of usually brinjal. So, if you add more items, then you have to add them serially and <coughs> just break them. Someone or many people add here some uh, jalabi or uh, jilebi that is a sweetening agent. Uh, but to use only the pudding as a sweetening agent. After that, I have to mix all them together so that <coughs> it form a homogeneous system or homogeneous form. And uh, this is the dough, or this is the uh, format for making the traditional Bengali iftar. This is uh, we have made, and one thing I have to add at last the muri. The fried rice that is called Bengali in Modi. Here I am adding some Modi or fried rice. You can add your <coughs> as your amount. I am at sufficient amount to properly mix with them. So usually the food I have mixed has a salt in their taste, and but if you want to adjust the saltiness you can add extra salt as a sweetening as, as a taste increase or taste imparting agent so this is my <coughs> traditional bengali iftar and here we have to break thank you for visiting my channel and watching my videos